LA Guns Renegades is better than the LA Guns album Check It Past. This is the Rock and Roll Weatherman. My name is Sean Morrison. And of course, um, the first version of LA Guns I mentioned are now known as Riley's LA Guns. The album, of course, was issued as LA Guns. It's at Renegades, of course. The LA Guns logo is different than the LA Guns logo that um, Phil Lewis and Tracy Guns uses. Last year, November 13th, 2021, LA Guns, Riley's LA Guns, not known as Riley's LA Guns, released the album Renegades, which had a lot of excellent tracks, including Renegades, as well as Crawl. There were others as well. The Lost Boys. That was that was the other one I was talking. I wanted to mention real quick. I almost said the Wild Boys. I was thinking of something else. Sorry about that. Love those songs. Love the entire album. And then of course we have um the Ellie Guns album Checkered Past. And um, you know, it's got a lot of good stuff on it. Mr. Morrison did a review on it yesterday. And they um take off where um their last two albums, which include the missing pieces, were and of course they had the um the, the songs on this album, which do include the song um Cannonball. They have a nice song in there called Dog. They have a lot of good stuff on there too, but they, they go more darker than Riley's LA Guns did on on um Renegades. But you know. Some fans want to support both. I know that um, I was anno- I I was annoyed that Tracy Guns did what he did, and I'm gonna still stick by that. You know, forming another LA Guns back in 2006, and no one made a big stink about him doing it, and then he did it again, and everyone's like, "Well, it's his band." Blah blah blah. Well, either way, they might have an edge at Frontiers Records. Might be um much more better than Golden Robot Records in certain aspects, but you know what? Fans will buy and listen to music of, and support what, what they want to hear, of course. Especially new music that artists put out. If you're not subscribed to the Sean Morrison YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else out there that subscribed, thank you very much for your continued love, honor, and support. It's greatly appreciated. Like Brendan Snyder is going to have a, more likely will have a review up of um, Ellie Gunn's Check It Past. You can check that review out. Of course, he has one of all the LA Guns, then known as LA Guns, now Riley LA Guns, Renegades. He has a review up there as well. You could give them a listen. He, um, he has a lot of good topics on his channel. Very awesome channel. Also, you know, some LA Guns fans might get mad because I prefer um, Steve Riley and Kelly Nichols with Riley's LA Guns over the current LA Guns, which features um, Phil Lewis and um, Tracy Guns. I think sometimes Phil Lewis is going in the press saying stupid shit. He even, even said shit with him when he was fighting with Tracy Guns and everything. You know, she'll let the past be the past, because what happens if Tracy gets pissed off at you and kicks you out again? Like, Riley's LA Guns is going to hire you. I mean, it's, it's getting ridiculous. You know, the fans are going to go see who they want to go see, and, you know, as long as the promoters advertise which LA Guns is playing, there's not going to be a problem. Now, friends, which LA Guns album do you like better? Do you like the LA Guns album Renegades, which features Steve Riley and Kelly Nichols, which um now known as Riley's LA Guns, or do you like LA Guns' Checkered Past, which, of course, features um Phil Lewis and... um. Found the LA Guns member, Tracy Guns. Like I said, on, on Check It Past, you have different feels of the music. The classic glam feel, it gets a little darker. And of course, um, you got the little um, Savage Led Zepp vibes there. On Renegades from Riley's LA Guns, you get the more glam style of the LA Guns sound. That's the opinion of Mr. Morrison. Mr. Morrison once again says that Renegades is the better album. Shame, shame, shame.